Hello and welcome. In this video, I am going to talk a little bit about object in JavaScript. The reason I record this video is because I was myself like struggling when I was learning any modern JavaScript framework like Angular, React, and Vue. Object was the most important part. If I was understanding object properly, uh, my life is a lot easy. That's why I want you to understand the object properly. Then you can understand uh, a lot whole concept in learning any modern JavaScript framework. Believe it or not, the day, the, the first day you start working with any JavaScript framework, you start by creating your first object. That's why it is very important to understand it properly, so that it will be easy in the future for you. So if I come to W3School, also this is in the very nice way that in JavaScript, objects are king. If you understand object, you understand JavaScript. That is very important. Like, uh, when I come to my Vue.js application, this is full of objects. This uh, object exists here, object exists here, all of them are full of objects, that's why you have to understand how this thing works, that's why I want to explain you in this video. If you have and if you know the basic knowledge or you know completely about objects, feel free to skip the video, you don't need to waste your time on this one. So I will start from the beginning. So what is an object? Object is like a variable, a variable just contain one value but object can contain anything. By anything, I mean inside the object, you can have variable, you can have function, you can have array, you can have another object, or you can have boolean, anything you want. So how you create the object? It is very easy. The same way you write war and you give a name. Let's say I give a name of, let's say you just give a name of book. Let's say book is an object and I am going to assign a value for this one. You can give an equal sign. And then you can start your parentheses like this. The reason it is giving me this uh, error is, you know, the is lint, so I don't need to worry about that one. But in the future, I will show you how you can disable that so that you should not see those error lines here. For now, this is how you create the object. Easily, you have the object. Now, inside this book, this book is currently an object, and because of the parentheses you have here, how you are going to define any property inside this one? Yeah, think of property as an ob uh, adjective for something like a book has a name it has color it has width it has number of pages different thing that is how you can call them that is the uh, the any ob any adjective for the book so how you write this one let's say you can write a name a book has a name think of name as the key and it has a value you can give the value with a colon and after that you can give the value let's say we give the alchemist, I hope the spelling is correct. So this is the name of the book. And this is one of the property you have. If I say property, think of it as an adjective for the object. This is one adjective. And if you come down, you can have author. This is another property, an object. So let's say an author, you can say Paulo, I don't know the, the name of Paulo Coelho, so this is the basic stuff you can write. So you can see that this is one property and you can separate them with a comma. You don't have to write them in two line. The reason you write in two line is because it will look good and it will be a lot more readable in the future. So you can write everything in one line, but it will be hard to understand. You can write comma and add as many properties as you want. This is the key and this is the value. And how you access the value of your application, the, uh, the value of your object, the, the way you do this one, there are many ways. You can go to the W3 school. This is the best way you can start learning about this one. But the most common example of uh, accessing the value is just writing the name, book, dot name. That is how you do that. And now it will display the name of the book you, you have written, The Alchemist. And if you want to uh, access the author, just write author. As I said, inside the object, you can have function. How you write the function? You can write comma, and you, you just give a name. Let's say, let's say, okay, the book does not have action. Uh, function is like an action. Let's say an object. If I think of a car, car have like, car can start. Start is like a function. You can accelerate, you can break, you can stop. All of those are actions. So if you are developing any real-world application, you have actions, a user click on something, 
you have an alert the alert shows up you can close uh, something those are all the actions that happen on your application so here the example of a book let's say a book has i don't know how, which example should i give let's say get download okay get download let's say get download is a function if you call it it is going to uh, calculate the amount of download this this book has been like uh, has like for a few years that's why you can write like this and again you can write the colon and in front of it you can write the function keyword and close it like this now you have a function inside your object the way you access it just call it call the name of the function with the parentheses here something like this so this is the most common example of creating the function but if you are writing ES6 this is a lot whole easy like you don't have to write this whole thing after this we will use this style of writing our function you just give the name and parentheses this is already a function you don't need to do anything else this is going to be the same thing but the other style which is this one this is the old javascript way to create the function now inside this object you can have another object as i said you can put a comma here and again open the parentheses and now this is going to be another object inside that one so again you can give it a name let's say you have data and this data is going to be more like specific about the book you can give like any more details information about the book or you can say contributor to the book and you can give the name all of those stuff like like that here inside another object so this is very important that you understand the reason i give this example is if i come all the way up here the first time we write something let's say we have a button here this is the button and you give the data here everything is the same like this is the button is an object we just use let instead of war what this is the same thing but this is in es6 so this is the button is an object and this has a function called data and this has another property called template stuff like that that's all that you have to know about this stuff and again when we write our view instance we pass an object inside that one this parenthesis anywhere you see the parenthesis like this think of it the, as an object you know this one is array this one is object and this one is function the basic stuff but if you understand it well it will be a lot easy again i will go to one of my uh, component if i open the there's the alert component that we created in the previous video if i come here we write export default this is going to be an object export default i will explain that later in the future video that why you write export default and stuff like that because this is the es6 uh, function of writing a class and stuff like that so for now if you think of it this is an object it has one property the name is alert and you can write as many properties as you want uh, that we will discuss later in the future video if i open the default one it has two properties the, the second one is props which contain another object inside that this is the thing that, that's why i covered the video of object and stuff like that so if you still are confused about this thing feel free to watch uh, some video about object and then understand it if you understand the object it will be a lot easy for you to understand the whole concept of uh, writing data driven application in javascript framework so i hope it has been informative for you that was all about the object and in the next video we will discuss more about vue.js thank you for watching